Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I have a couple of projects to share with you. We're using two Spellbinders Club Kits for November 2023. We have the Clear Stamp and Die of the Month Club Kit. It's called Sending Sentiments. I love, I, you've probably heard me say this a thousand times, that I love scripty fonts with block lettered fonts, and that's exactly what this um, stamp set is. So this is like a stash building stamp set. I just love it. You have large greetings that are scripty, hello, sending, happy, for, and you, and then the rest are blocked that you can, that are secondary or sub-sentiments or pre-sentiments, um, and then I also have the coordinating die that will cut out the, the larger greetings and then the block letters too. We'll be using this and I like that we have this this month because you could bring in any die set um, as a little accent piece to your greeting because it's so big. We're going to pair this with the embossing folder which is called Mandarin Floral and it's a beautiful embossing folder. It has some beautiful flowers on here and I don't know if you can see those flowers. Let me move this out of the way. Oh there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. We're going to be doing a little masking today because um, I haven't masked in a while. So let's start by stamping our greetings. Um, I've been a little busy lately, so I thought we'd make a belated birthday card. <laughs> um, and I love that they have that in here, belated birthday wishes. Um, I'm going to stamp sending belated birthday wishes, and then I'm going to make another card that says, hello, you are in my thoughts. So let's go ahead and bring in the stamping positioner. In my stamping positioner, I bought one of those waffle flower, let me show you, those waffle flower um, clear mats. I bought one that fits in here because my sticky mat, let me show you, my sticky mat here, this one still has some tack to it, this one here. Um, but for my smaller stamping positioner, I, it, lo it, it was a goner. It lost its tack. <laughs> so I thought I'd try this. And so far, it's been working really good. Anyway, let's start <laughs> by taking some white cardstock. And I'm going to use Sending and also Hello. Let me put that there. And we're going to use Belated Birthday Wishes. And you are in my thoughts. And I'm going to use some black ink. Actually, I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx black ink because it's a nice dark black ink. And we will just go ahead and ink these up. If you guys are curious, Spellbinders clear stamps are quality photopolymer. And they stamp lovely. Get these one more time. Okay. So there's my greeting. We're going to go ahead and take this out. And I'm going to take the coordinating dies and we are going to cut these out. I love that they included the rec the the block letter one. Let's tape this down. There we go. Hello. And then while I was die cutting, I went ahead and created some little extra pieces to go on my card. Um, I'm going to be using, this is the Spellbinders Poinsettia, Christmas Bird Poinsettia. I've used this several times, and I'm going to link a video to where I created this bird at the end. So if you want to know how I created this little bird, I'll link it, um, I'll link a video at the end so you can check that out. But it's, this bird is very easy to put together. It, it has four body pieces and then the legs and then the eye and then also the little beak. And then there's some flourishes in here. And I thought these would be great for my sending birthday wishes. I think we're going to add this to this one. 
Okay, and then for my Hello, You Are In My Thoughts, I haven't used this one yet, but this is the Sp uh, Spellbinder Sealed Blooms. This is meant to go with the Spellbinder Seal System, the wax seals. But I love the long stems of these, and they're very easy to put together. I die cut out each of these with green cardstock, and then you can add the flowers on top, and then on the flowers you can add the flower centers. So that's what I did. And I used chamomile and beeswax cardstock for the flowers. Um, for the flower centers, I didn't dye, use the dye. I just used some gems. The gems that I used were aquamarine. So very, very easy to put together. And I thought this would go perfect with my sending warm thoughts. So I used two extra dye sets. And I'll link these down below if you guys want to use that for a reference. And now we're going to do a little bit of ink blending and masking. So we'll put these off to the side. And then I have my Gina K Masking Magic. I'm going to take a piece out here. And I thought we would trim this down to a panel that is 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarters. So we're going to add this. And this is Spellbinder's new paper trimmer. And I have to say I've been loving it. This piece here comes out for 12 by 12 sheets. So that makes it really nice. It just snaps in. This is the back of it. And then you have a score blade, which is the white one. And then you have a cut blade, which is the gray one. And then they do have refills too. So let's take a piece of masking magic. I'm going to put it in my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim it down to three and three quarters. And then I'm going to turn it and cut it at five inches, which it already may be at five inches. No, well, maybe we can cut a little bit off. So, so that is this panel. And now I'm going to bring in my circle dies. Now I took my masking paper on that that piece that we cut out and I created a window in it. And what we're going to do with this window is use the positive and the negative for our card today. Okay, we'll put this back. This is the Everlasting Circles that I used. Okay, now I'm going to take two pieces, some white cardstock, and I'm going to create some panels here that are the same size as my masking paper. So three and three quarters. By five. Okay, and then, and then on the other panel, I'm going to go four inches by five and a quarter. Okay, on the same measurement that we used for our masking paper, which is three and three quarters by five inches, we're going to go ahead and mask off this entire panel here. Okay, and then with this one, we're going to remove the release paper off of this masking circle, and we're going to add this to this side. We're going to make two landscapes cards today. So now, now we're going to do a little bit of ink blending. I'm going to start with squeezed lemonade. I have a three colors that will blend really well together and we're going to add some color to the very bottom here. Maybe we should go in a circle with this. Let's go in a circle with this. Okay, we'll add our squeezed lemonade first and then I'm going to bring in mowed lawn. And I'm going to add a little color to the edges. 
And then after we have mowed lawn, I'm going to go back with my squeeze lemonade and fade them both together. I actually think I need to I'm going to add a little more green here. And then I will fade the yellow here. And then on the edges, I'm going to use peacock feathers. And I'm going to switch out my peacock feathers to salty ocean. I think that's going to give me a little bit of a brighter blue here. Okay. Not much better. So that one is all done. For this panel, I'm going to start at the very top and then add Salty Ocean and then we'll add Mowed Lawn and then we'll add Squeeze Lemonade down the bottom. So we'll blend all three of these together. And that is a lot of ink. We will add our mowed lawn. And I think that's going to work out great. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of water over the top of these, just using my Distress Sprayer. Okay, and then we will wipe off the excess, but let's see. I'm going to go ahead and remove my masking paper. Just love how how that looks. And then I'll do the same for this panel. If you add water to your masking paper, I found you'd want to remove it right away because it does get um, saturated with it. Okay, so we have our background. Now we're going to take our embossing folder of the month and we're going to take our panels and the nice thing is two will fit in here. We will add both of these and then I'm going to run this through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. Using my tape runner we're just going to adhere both of these panels to the front of an A2 size side folding card base. This one I think I'm going to flip around. So we have our background and you can still see that beautiful embossed detail on the back. And then for our first card we'll make our birthday card. I'm going to put some foam tape behind my greeting. And then we have our foliage and I'm just going to use my tape runner behind these and I'm going to keep them white and we're going to add these on the inside kind of hanging over and then I have my bird and I put some black foam squares behind here they kind of doing double duty because they're filling in this area and also the eye. And we will add our bird. Okay, and then for bells and whistles on this card, I'm going to bring in my color essential gems. And I want to replace this eye with one of these smaller gems. Wonderful. And then I'll bring in my 
aquamarine jewels. And I think we're going to add a few, a little bit of sparkle. Okay, and then that will finish off that card. For my next card, we're going to first add our florals. For this card, I put foam tape behind the flowers and then adhesive behind the rest. And we are going to add them on the inside of the circle here. I think that's a good spot. Kind of centering them here. I have some hanging over. I have the stems hanging over and I'm just going to trim them away. Okay, we have our sub sentiment. I put foam tape behind here. Maybe we'll add our hello first. I'm going to add just a few extra of our aquamarine gems. And it looks like I need some more. And that will finish that card. So these are the cards that we made today with the Spellbinders Club Kits, the Embossing Folder of the Month Club Kit for November, and also the Clear Stamp and Die of the Month Club Kit. Um, I'll leave these down below for everything that I used today. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.